Forgive us for our sins, God. Yes. Wash us, Lord God, for, from our iniquities, dear God. Hallelujah. Thank Cleanse you. us, Father, dear God. Yes. Even as we stand before you, dear God. As we come to worship you tonight, dear God. Hallelujah. Be magnified, dear Father. Hallelujah. And be glorified, dear Father, amongst us, dear God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift your voices and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him thanks tonight. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord his praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We honor you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise your name, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the good times, we praise your name. In the bad times, we do the same. Hallelujah. For you are the same God in the good times and in the bad times. You're the God of the valley. You're the God of the mountain. Hallelujah. 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 There's no one greater than you, O God. Hallelujah. Nobody greater. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you, church. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's good again to be in the presence of the Lord. Of the Lord Most High. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's good to have you here. God bless you. Hallelujah. Those on Zoom, God bless you. And those who watch this video, I pray God bless you as well as we worship the Lord. Hallelujah. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To Sarge, we're going to ask you to bless tonight's session. Hallelujah. May God bless you too as you come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Sing praises unto God. Sing praises. For God, you are king of the earth. Sing with understanding, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Good night, Holy Spirit. We welcome your presence. Thank you tonight that we can assemble, Holy Spirit, in your presence again. We thank you tonight as we come tonight in your presence. We ask that you unify our hearts. We ask that you would touch us another time. We ask that you strengthen us. We ask that you continue to guide and direct us and instruct us in the way we should go. Tonight we honor you. We exalt you. We enthrone you. We magnify you. We bless you. We say hallelujah. We raise a hallelujah in the presence of our enemies. We raise a hallelujah. Lord of your belief. We raise a hallelujah. And we welcome the host of heaven to fight for us. I'm going to sing in the middle of the storm. Louder but louder. I'm going to keep my praises on. After the ashes, hope will arise. Death is defeated. The king is alive. Tonight we give you glory because the king is alive. The king is alive. And we welcome the king in our presence. The worship. We glorify you. Hallelujah. My God, you are awesome. There's none like you. We praise your name and we glorify you tonight. Thank you tonight, God, for tabernacling with us tonight, God. As we worship you tonight. We say, have thy own way. And we glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Hallelujah. And that's your will be done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Have our scripture reading. Hallelujah. That's the name of the Lord. God bless his servant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. The scripture lesson for this evening is taken from the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 4 to 14. And I'm reading from the New King James Version. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all who were carried away captive, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem to Babylon, Build houses and dwell in them. Plant gardens and eat their fruit. Take wives and beget sons and daughters. And take wives for your sons and give your daughters to husbands. So that they may bear sons and daughters. That you may be increased there and not diminished. And seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be carried away captive. And pray to the Lord for it. For in its peace you will have peace. Amen. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Do not let your prophets and your diviners who are in your midst deceive you. For listen to nor listen to their dreams which you cause to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely to you in my name. I have not sent them, says the Lord. For thus says the Lord, after 70 years are completed at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word towards you. And cause you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me. And I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me. When you search for me with all your heart, I will be found by you, says the Lord, and I will bring you back from your captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, says the Lord, and I will bring you to the place from which I cause you to be carried away captive. Thanks be to God for his word. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a serious word. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be feeling some things doesn't always look like it is God's will. Hallelujah. But you must seek the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Our pastor to minister in song. Hallelujah. May God bless them as they minister in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless you. Yeah. 
have someone consume and not quite sure but then nevertheless thank you so much I'm glad to share with you for a few minutes a subject which I will soon be able to tell you Amen. <laughs> yours I want you to remember that. Yours, theirs, are his plans. Amen. Whether you and I realize it or not, <clears throat> our actions come from our plans. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Unless you're the type that you just, you know, do anything. But your plans and mine may not be our own. That's right. Yes, that's right. What sometimes you think are your plans hey, hey. is as a result of their plans. The way you dress, what vehicle you drive, yes. what kind of house you live in, what district you're in. So many things. And I am thankful that many of you still have a mind of your own. Amen. If you didn't have a mind of your own, I don't think you would be here tonight. And we thank God, especially for our mother who, you know, this is a video going to the world. So we wouldn't say her name, but we thank God. And if you take me, I will stop and pray now for her. Amen. Thank God to see you, mother. Yes. And your daughters who support you. Have I, have I got it right? Daughter to support. Amen. We can, we can do better than that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The enemy 
smoke burst up again. Amen. Amen. Again. Amen. Glory <laughs> to God. We better be careful here. God has got his people. Yes. And we are his people. Yes. And the sheep of his pasture. So whoever trying to take us out, you got to take out God first. It is your plans, their plans, or his plans. It is amazing, you know. I don't know how far we will get, my brother. But it's amazing that this backdrop to this history with the children of Israel, and they were in Babylon, I believe it is. And no doubt there are prophets who will know, I shouldn't say no, who will imagine what will tickle your fancy. Hey, hey. And they have a prophetic word hey. to yes. give you a temporary lift in your spirit. Yes. And in this very scenario here, the same thing was happening. Taking no account of his plans. Yes. Get very personal now. Mm. Some of our poor parents didn't have a plan to live in the Caribbean. That's true. Think, brethren, think. Yes, that's true. Far less Barbados. Hey. Is that in your notes, Pastor? Definitely not. But they were brought all the way. And I can't get in trouble for this. This is history. Amen. Our four parents were brought all the way. From our motherland. Amen. And the language that we spoke, mm. we could speak no more so to speak because we found ourselves in a strange place and up to this day some are not satisfied with where we are i'm not ready for your applause you want to go back to Well, whatever, I ain't call any name. Right. I agree with you. Going back where our great, great, great grandparents were. Mm. And where we spoke a different language. Yes. Yes. And we had no choice. But God is always working his purposes out. Yes. Yes. And when you and I see some of the things that happen there now. And see... How we are living here, we should be praising this roof off. Somebody from telling you, having a movement back to who? Tell the person, look, you, you, you're sick, you need to be in the mental. We are where God would have us to be. I like this scripture, and heart was read. Yes, yes. I, I, look, give me a chance to go back and look at this. <laughs> Take wives and beget sons and daughters. Mm. Follow this here. Okay. And take wives for your. And take wives for your. Sons. Can you all read it? Yes. yes. I didn't write this. Sons. And take wives for your. Mm -hmm. And give your daughters to husbands. So that they may bear sons and daughters. That you may be increased there and not diminished. But because of political and economical and technical language, we have been encouraged not to procreate. 
and now to have the gall to get on national television and say that we are diminishing. Yes. Yes. Are you going to read this again? Yes. Take wives and beget sons and daughters. And take wives for your sons and give your daughters to husbands. So that they may bear sons and daughters. That you may be increased there and not diminish. Amen. Family planning. I can see I can see the face of the individual who pushed it. And I can see the hair and how it was slicked back. I ain't call a soul name. Huh? Pushing the idea about family planning. And now we hear that we may have to import people. Huh? And seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be carried away captive. Or you want to seek the peace of where you came from? No way. We can live peaceful here. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For in the peace of Barbados, yes. you will have peace. Yes. You pray for peace in the Middle East and in the Middle East. You better try and live in the peace that we got here. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, do not let your prophets, oh, we have so many of them, and your diviners mm, who are in your midst deceive you. We have had more than one subject about here about deception. Nor listen to your dreams which you cause to be dreamed. In other words, those are the kind of dreams that according to what you imagine and what you read and what you see in the day, you get dreams to accommodate your perception. For they prophesy falsely to you in my name. I have not sent them, says the Lord. For thus says the Lord, here's reality though, after 70 years are completed at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you and cause you to return to this place. Hallelujah. Are you, are you Hallelujah. following this? Amen. So if you are here in Barbados wow. and your motherland is yes. next door, yes. enjoy the peace here. Amen. Yes. Everybody encourage you to run back there. God will have you to be here. You better say amen if I will call your name. Enjoy the peace here. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. You're not here by mistake. No. No. And I want to take this opportunity to thank those of you who contributed to the little fund we had on behalf of our sister who came here from Trinidad was left here she called to say thanks Amen. Amen. that Amen. because of your prayers and contribution not only yeah. contribution in mm. contribution from your purse yes. God has helped her to get her certificate wow. I know she's about to get her ID Amen. 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 some people in their city are doing nothing but whilst we do what God will have us That's to it. do, He will do the rest. Amen. 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 After 70 years of completing that Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you and cause you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. God's thoughts for us. Our upliftment, yes. peace, and joy. Yes, there is much that will go on in the world, yes. but we who are called by His name, yes. and we who have accepted the provision of Jesus' blood, are in a different category. Yes. Yes. If you don't know, you can't even applaud. I feel sorry for you. For I know the thoughts they think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace. Somebody should be saying hallelujah. Yes. And not of evil. Yes. To give you a future 
and a hope. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Somebody will say that years ago, yes. you could get a piece of land to buy, mm -hmm. and you could get a house, mm -hmm. and this and that, but the prices are so high, you, know, you can't right. get it. Look, let me tell you, in every dispensation, God is providing for his people. Amen. bunch of layers give you a future and a hope then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and I will listen to you what comforting words oh somebody should be praising God somebody should be praising God and, uh, and you will seek me and find me when you search for me, anyhow, when you search for me with all your heart. In other words, you can't be topsy turvy here and there, may or may not, with all your heart. I will be found by you, says the Lord. And I will bring you back from your captivity. Amen. So even if you think you are in captivity now, oh God is able to bring you back to where you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you. Sometimes we blame the devil for a lot of things. Yes. 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 Hmm? Yes. You and I don't understand God's plan. Back off. Yes. You don't understand God's plan. And I will bring you to the place from which I caused you to be carried away, Captain. You got any note you want to read? The, the, the 12 to 14. God did not forget his people. Mm. Even though they were captive in Babylon. Mm. He planned to give them a new beginning with a new purpose. Mm. To turn them into new people. Wow. Wow. In times of deep trouble, you may feel as though God has forgotten you. Praise the Lord. In times of deep trouble, you may feel as though God has forgotten you. Hold there. Hold there. If, you, if that doesn't happen to you, you're abnormal. Read it again. In times of deep trouble, you may feel as though God has forgotten you. Yes, it is true. Yes. But God may be preparing you Amen. as he did the people of Judah Amen. for a new beginning yes, Lord. with him at the center. Thank you, Lord. A new beginning with him at the center. So back off with the doubts and fears. Amen. Let the Lord have his way in your life and in my life. Yes, Amen. Praise the Lord. Many choices and decisions that we make have no relevance and bearing to what God is doing on our behalf. Mm -hmm. so true. Many times, many a time, it is because of what somebody else whispers yes. in our ears, yes. or the society, what their the plans in the society. In all conditions of life, it is our wisdom and duty not to throw away the comfort of what we may have. Because we may, because we have not all we would have. In other words, because of what is missing from you and missing from me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only recently someone said to me, he had plans for today. But an essential part of life was scarce. Mm -hmm. You know when you turn on the tap, and nothing comes out. Yes. You know how it changes up your plans. Yes. So sometimes you have plans. You have you have water. You have this and you have that. But you may be longing for a swimming pool, <laughs> and you're not comfortable because you don't have a jacuzzi. But you better be thankful because you got water. Amen. Because even if you have a jacuzzi or a swimming pool and you don't have water, you're in trouble. Yes. 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 
They are directed to seek the good of the country and where they were captives. Where they were captives. While the king of Babylon protected them, they must live quiet and peaceable lives under him in all godliness and honesty. Amen. Patiently. Leaving it to leaving it to leaving it to leaving it to who? Form a party, an opposition party, <laughs> and say what you can do and come through the district. Boom, 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 and get the eyes of everybody and the attention of everybody. What you can do? I read here, and I know it is true, and you all know it is true too. Patiently leaving it to God to work deliverance for them in due time. Amen. For us in due time. Amen. That's right. His time in. False prophets flatter people in their sins because they love to be flattered. And they speak smoothly to their prophets. That their prophets may speak smoothly to them. God promises that they should return after 70 years were accomplished. And that happened. So they could prophesy till the tongue drop out. That is why I keep telling you brethren. Don't keep looking around and saying that this thing happening and that thing happen, happening. If it's prophesied, it will happen. But God can protect you and I Amen. in the midst of it. Amen. We often do not know our mind, our own minds. Yes. But the Lord is never at an uncertainty. Yes. Anybody here know? Yes. We are sometimes ready to fear that God's designs are all against us. But as to his own people, even that which seems evil is for is for I know you got witnesses in here that things that people set up for your harm to run work for your good and get the enemy vexed he will give them not the expectations of their fears or the expectations of their fancies but the expectations of yeah. their faith. Yeah. Keep your faith strong, brethren. Amen. Amen. The end he has promised, which will be the best yes. for them, Amen. for us. Yes. When the Lord pours out a special spirit of prayer, wow. it is a good sign yes. that he is coming toward us in mercy. Hallelujah. Some of you wondering what that means. We had a prayer meeting here last night. A powerful prayer meeting. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't go around speaking words like powerful except in my heart I feel it. Powerful prayer meeting. And I love when I see this tonight. The when the Lord pours out a special spirit of prayer. It is a good sign that he is coming towards us. In mercy. Bless the Lord. Well, all of you, I'm sure, know the importance of planning. Well, if you fail to plan, if you fail to plan, and there in Genesis 41, 28 to 36, you can see the whole thing. You have to consider the long range results of planning, not only the short range. Sometimes you got Sometimes you could do without certain things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might have to skip up on ice cream. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> I ain't calling a brand name here. You might have to skip up on ice cream. Right? Because you have a view of something which is greater. A more long-term plan. <laughs> Plans can aid in worship. If you got something, you don't have enough for that. After interpreting, this is for the Lord, 28 and 36. After interpreting Pharaoh's dream, Joseph gave the king a survival plan for the next 14 years. The only way to prevent starvation was through careful planning. Yes. 
Without a famine, a famine plan, Egypt will have turned from prosperity to ruin. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Many fun detailed planning boring. <coughs> stop there, stop there, stop there, stop there. <laughs> Read that one again. Many fun detailed planning boring and unnecessary. <laughs> but planning is an important responsibility. It is not optional. Joseph It is not optional. optional. What that means? It is a, it isn't something that you can do or not do. It is something that you must do. Amen. Not optional. You don't have a choice. You have to plan. Amen. Amen. Joseph was able to save a nation by translating what God had revealed about Egypt's future into a practical plan and then implemented it. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Con praise the Lord. Consider the long range results when you and I do a plan. Yes. Don't only look at the short term yes. benefits of it. Yes. Huh? Yes. You have to look longer than that. Yes. Yes. Plans can hear in worship. <laughs> Planning ahead. Nehemiah. Oh boy, sermons are nothing here. But there's a difference between planning and worrying. What does Matthew 6.34 say? Anybody got it? Matthew 6.34. What does that say? There's a difference between planning and worrying. And you got page 2087. Matthew 6.34. 6.34. It says here, time devoted to planning for tomorrow it's time well spent. Uh huh. Time devoted. Wait, 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 wait. Make sure that they heard it. Yes, that's what we're going back on. Time. Time devoted to planning for tomorrow. It's time well spent. Uh huh. Time devoted to worrying <laughs> about tomorrow is time wasted. That's right. You got a note there? There's a note to read. Go ahead. But what so, does the verse say? Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Okay? Anybody believe that? All right. All right, good. Yeah. Sometimes it is difficult to tell the difference. Careful planning is thinking ahead about goals, steps, and schedules. And trusting God and trusting in God's guidance. When done well, planning helps alleviate worrying. Worrying, by contrast, consumes us with anxiety and makes it difficult for us to trust God. Yeah, that's true. And when anxiety comes, tell the congregation what will happen. Oh, God. Or the congregation tell us. Then. When you get into anxiety street, what will happen to your physical body? Anxiety has never helped anybody. Go ahead, that's it. No, just finishing. This is worrying contrast. And makes it difficult for us to trust God. Worries. Let their obsession with plans and outcomes interfere with their relationship with God. Mm, yes. <laughs> Don't let worries about tomorrow affect your relationship with God today. Amen. It will. Yeah. Yes. Because if you're worrying, it means you're not trusting yes. God. That's it. Automatically. That's it. You and I are not called to worry. That's it. We are to call to plan. With the Holy Spirit's guidance. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Absolutely. I see here something interesting. God's plans can make use of our mistakes. Anybody know that? Anybody know that? So even when you that's the next thing that sometimes you worry that you might look, sometimes if you're on a project, you could find yourself worrying about if I make a mistake, what will happen? Mm -hmm. yes. 
I got any people in here that ever yes. worked with cloth? Yes. Yes. Making a dress? Yes. Yes. You ever made a mistake yet? Yes. And what happened? You had to throw away the cloth? No. no. You had to become creative and find a way and then you have a brand new style which was really a spoil it was a spoil of your plans but it became creative something for somebody so even when you and I spend time worrying about our mistakes it is foolishness it is better to plan and proceed plan and proceed you hear what we started out with? Give your sons to be married to daughters and give your daughters to be married to sons yes. and all that. Yes. And enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hey, hey, I can get myself in trouble here today. <laughs> Genesis 43. Now the famine was severe in the land. And it came to pass when they had eaten up the grain which they had brought from Egypt that their father said to them, go back, buy us a little more food. You think, brother, you think it was about the food? No. You think it was about the famine? No. It was about the eternal plan yes. that God had yes. to reunite Joseph yes. with his brethren. Yes. And, he, and what they thought he <laughs> get rid of he get rid of the dreamer yes. put him right in the bear patch yes. where God will have him yes. and he was the instrument used yes. to bring salvation to so many souls we have to change our perception of what is going on all around us and let the Lord direct us let the Lord guide us that is why the subject tonight is your plans, their plans, or God's plans. All right. Here's one that I know that I laugh, you know. No one can thwart God's plans. I can put it in there. No one can mess up God's plans. But we belong to the highest order. Whatever that is. And we're going to take care of you. Take care of you. The caliban, take care of yourself. What is blessing me every day? What is blessing me every day? Is that the great Pharaoh. He can't sue me. The great Pharaoh. And all his sorcerers. And all his wise men. Could only match up to a certain degree. But when you're gone past there, the people of God clothed yeah. to God. Ain't got no match. Ain't got no match. Oh yes, yes. It says here in the note, although Joseph brothers had wanted to get rid of him. God used even their evil actions yes. to fulfill his ultimate plan. Oh, yes. He has sent Joseph ahead to preserve their lives, yes. save Egypt, and prepare the way for the beginning of the nation of Israel. Amen. God is sovereign. Yes. His plans are not dictated by human action. My Lord, thank you. Amen. When others intend evil towards you, Remember Joseph's words to his brothers. He taught even against me, but God meant it unto good to bring it to pass as it is this day to save much people. In oh, life. praise the Lord! Give God some praise. Hallelujah. And it didn't only happen back there in Matthew two sixteen. Then Herod. When he saw that he was deceived by the wise men. Y'all remember that history? Yeah. Yes. Was exceedingly angry. And he sent forth and put to death all the male children. Who were in Bethlehem. And in all the districts. From two years old and under. According to the time which he had determined from the wise men. 
Did he catch up with Jesus? No. Talk to me now. No. But after all, <laughs> if he got rid of all of the male children yes. from two years and under, he should have caught Jesus. Yes. Yes. But he remembered God that sent an angel and tell, yes. move out Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God's plans for us are beautiful. Yes. My Lord. Right. Amen. God doesn't need much from us to accomplish his plan for our lives. Exodus 2 9. It would be interesting to see what that says. Exodus 2 9. Exodus 2 9. You think you could find that? God doesn't need much from us to accomplish his plan for our lives. And there's a note on that nine. same page. Moses' mother, Exodus 2 9. Mm -hmm. Moses' mother was reunited with her baby. God used her courageous acts of saving and hiding her baby to begin his plan to rescue his people from Egypt. God doesn't need much from us to accomplish his plan for our lives. Focusing on our human predicament may paralyze us. Yes. Focusing on our human predicament, predicament may paralyze us. us. Because the situation may appear humanly impossible. But concentrating on God and His power Amen. will help us see the way out. Amen. Right now, you may feel unable yes. to see through your troubles. Yes. Realize that God is present with you Amen. and trust Him for the way out. Amen. That is all He needs to begin yes. His work in you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Whether you should be praising God more. Can you imagine hiding the savior of the children of Israel in the palace? He couldn't have been hidden in a better place. You wouldn't be looking for him there. Thank you, Lord. His daughter had said to her, take this child away and nurse him for me. And he will give you wages. Imagine. <laughs> so the woman took the child and nursed him. And the child grew. And she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter. She had the opportunity to raise her own children. Yes. Yes. You, you all didn't even laugh. Yes. It's mind boggling. It's mind boggling. Every with you. So the woman took the child and nursed him. And the child grew, and she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. Yes. <laughs> so she called his name Moses, saying, because I drew him out of the water. And all of that was in the eternal plan of yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We need to agree to God's plan for us. That's Joshua 1, 16. And you might have a note in page 417. So they answered Joshua saying, All that you command us, we will do. And whatever you and wherever you send us, we will go. That was when they were looking to go up to be going to the promised land before they were ready. I believe it is that. You and I have got to know that we gotta work with God's plan. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we say, Man, it takes too long. Mm. <laughs> True. But you really don't know what you and I have been saved from. Oh, yes. mm. That's right. Sometimes yes. it will happen that years down the road, you look back and say, Whoa, yes, yes. Lord, I thank you that I have not done such and such. Amen. Yeah. If everyone had tried to conquer the promised land, their only My Lord. chaos would have resulted in order to complete the enormous task of conquering the land, everyone had to agree to the leader's plan and be willing 
to support and obey him. If we are going to complete the task God has given us, we must fully agree Amen. to his plan. Mm -hmm. Pledge ourselves to obey mm -hmm. and work together with others to put his principles into action. Agreeing to God's plans means both knowing what the plan is as found in the Bible and carrying it out daily. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Carry it out daily. Amen. Weekly. Amen. Daily. Life. Basket life. Amen. Some plans must be indefinitely put on hold. Some of us don't like that. Oh, yeah. 1 Samuel 16, 19 to 21. And it notice on page 581. Therefore Saul sent messengers to Jesse and said, Send me your son David, who is with the sheep. <laughs> and Jesse took a donkey, loaded with bread, a skin of wine, and a young goat, and sent them by his son David to Saul. So David came to Saul and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor bearer. Oh, yes. <laughs> and yes. Saul didn't even know. Saul did not know that the prophet had anointed David to replace him. Somebody here ain't understanding me. And just as Moses was brought up in the palace, here is David. Into the palace. Oh, my Lord. Don't you think it could happen to you? Amen. Somebody say a word. I hope I don't have to encourage some of you when God opened the door for you to go. Because the enemy will tell you this may be a trap. Yeah. Yeah. The, the enemy will say, yeah. well, Jesse could have said, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is a trap. Yeah. Well, I think Jesse held his mouth too. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh yeah, the relationship is important. That's right. Yeah. When Saul asked David to be in his service, he obviously did not know that David had been secretly, secretly anointed king. Saul's invitation presented an excellent opportunity for the young man and future king to gain first-hand information about leading an army and building a nation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes our plans, even the ones we think God has approved, mm -hmm. have to be put on hold indefinitely. Yes. Yes. And then you will think that's something wrong with you. Correct. David had to run for yes. his life yes. so many times. But God's protection was on him. And when he got the opportunity to get even uh, and, and, and destroy his enemy, he didn't. Let that be a lesson for all of us. Amen. Amen. And sometimes our plans get interrupted or don't develop as we desire. Mm -hmm. yes. Like David, we can use this waiting time profitably. We can choose to learn and grow in our present circumstances, whether they may be, whatever they may be. Yes. Anybody really? It's more than talk, I tell you. I tell you. Plans want set in motion. Some plans can be reversed here. Matthew 27, 3 to 4. Then Judas, his betrayer, seeing that he had been condemned, was remorseful or full of remorse. 
and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. And they said, What is that to us? You see to it. Jesus' formal accuser, see the note on 26, 48, wanted to drop his charges, but the religious leaders refused to halt the trial. When he betrayed Jesus, perhaps Judas was trying to force Jesus' hand to get him to lead a revolt against Rome. You see, your, you see, you see it is not your plans? Yes. This did not work, of course. Whatever his reason, Jesus regretted his decision and changed his mind, but it was too late. Mm -hmm. Many of the plans we set into motion cannot be reversed. Yes. That is why we need to know that the Lord is leading us. Amen. We must carefully think through the potential consequences before we launch into an action we may later regret. Brethren, I am hoping this is not coming to you in vain. Because the enemy has plans for every one of us. But God's plans are the best. Amen. 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 I have another one here. God reveals his plans through history. Don't go against God's natural plan. Romans 1, 26 to 27. For this reason, God gave them up to vile passions. For even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning in their lusts for one another. Men with men committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of the error which was due. And there's a note there too. 26 to 27. Go ahead. God's plan, God's plan for sexual relationship is his ideal for his creation. Because he created us, he has the prior claim on all our capabilities and even our desires. When we accept him as Lord of our lives, his Holy Spirit begins to convict us of how we should live and love. Amen. Unfortunately, sin distorts the natural use of God's gift. Yes. Yes. Sin often means denying not only God, but also the purpose he has for us and the way in which we are made. When people say that any sex act is acceptable, as long as nobody gets hurt, they are fooling themselves. Yes. You all agree with that? Yes. Well, yes. give God some praise. Yes. When people say that any sex act is acceptable, as long as nobody gets hurt, they are fooling themselves. In the long run, and often in the short run, sexual sin hurts people, individuals, families, and whole societies. Because sex is a powerful and essential part of what it means to be human, it must be treated with great respect. Sexual desires are of such importance mm. that the Bible gives them special attention yes. and cultures more careful restraint mm. and self-control regarding the desires for sex than any other desire. Amen. One of the clearest indicators of a society or a person is rebellion against God is rejection of God's guidelines for sex. Don't be afraid to applaud it. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. My thinking is far different. I think I'm going to do this and come come to a close because the time is moving. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't leave God out of your plans. Amen. James Amen. 4, 13 to 16. Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow, we will go to such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell, and make a profit. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor wow. so that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, yes. we shall live yes. and do this or that. Yes. But now you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. There's a note there, 13 to 16. It is good to have goals. But goals can disappoint us if we leave out God on the them. Yes, yes, say, it, say that again. It is, it is good to have goals. But goals can disappoint us if we leave God on the them. Why make plans as though God does not exist? Lord have mercy. When he holds the future in his hands. Hallelujah. Seizing opportunities are being asserted without considering what God wants will lead to frustration. Will lead to what? Frustration. frustration. God planning starts by asking these questions. Good planning. What would I like to what would I like to be doing ten years from now? Strong question. One year from now. Tomorrow, how will I react if God steps in and rearrange my plans? We should plan ahead, but we must hold on to our plans loosely. If we put God's desires at the center of our plan, He will not disappoint. Hallelujah! Oh, praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! I've come to the point where I ask what we started with. Mm -hmm. If we can get back up here. Mm -hmm. Is it your plans? Yes. Yes. Their plans? Yes. Or God's plans? Yes. Sometimes we plan even our finances yes. according to the world's way of planning. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with what God is saying. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, some people get married. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some people get married mm -hmm. for financial reasons, yes. with no love yes. and no respect mm -hmm. as to what God has mm -hmm. for the two people. Yes. We have looked at a few areas tonight mm -hmm. to fully persuade you that you need. And I need to consider what we are doing mm -hmm. and what we are planning. Mm -hmm. Because it is not about us. Mm -hmm. It is not about them. Mm -hmm. It is about him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. And when we know that we are fulfilling the plans that God has for us, all is yes. well. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. So we're still at choice. We're still at choice corner. Or choice intersection. I'm going to repeat it. Is it your plans? Their plans? Because some of us dealing with what them want us to do. Now what we want to do, True. or what God wants us to do, we are looking at how we can please them or ourselves yeah. with no concern for what God is saying. And God knows the future. Amen. So 
if you come across this video and you like us are at the crossroads think carefully is it my plans my family and friends plans or it's party time why you want so quiet something like it wrong with you hmm? uh-huh i hear you party time coming up it's time to party hmm? you ain't concerned about your plans then some should be preparing for the next move in their lives they're thinking about partying because of friends then god might speak to you in a dream or a vision giving you guidance you might even be listening to the false prophets this is time if you pick up on this video this is time to see Jeremiah 29 11. What does that say? God's plans for us are the best plans. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all will be well. So if you come across this video, it is not a video for the people in this church, it's a video for the whole world. Amen. Look at your plans. Yes. And you will realize that some of your plans are not your plans at all. Yes. They're the plans of your friends that are in your hand. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And some of the plans that you have have nothing to do with God. Yes. That is for the video. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you come across this video and your heart is touched, and you know that you're not been planning right. Our God is a faithful, loving God. Amen. He is willing to forgive you. But you've got your part to play. You've got to ask him to forgive you. You've got to be sorry for what you have done. And accept the grace that Jesus has brought to the whole world. And... Be determined mm -hmm. to turn your back mm -hmm. on the enemy mm -hmm. and his plans mm -hmm. and turn your life over to Jesus mm -hmm. and see what he will do for you. And if you would consider this seriously, and even if there's no one near you, but this is so beautiful. The Holy Spirit Amen. is everywhere Amen. at the same yes. time. Amen. You can raise your hand or bend your knee as you're led to do and ask God to forgive you. Amen. And once you believe that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary for you and for me and you accept yeah. the provision that he has made for you and tell Jesus to come into your life and tell the enemy get out. You will be saved. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. For the video, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord cause his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up the light of his comes upon thee and give thee peace now and evermore. The people say, Amen. 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 For prayer and counsel in your walk with God, please email us at armor of light barbados at gmail.com thank you and may god bless you